good evening everyone team let's start the session for today thank you everyone for attending the session today again so uh in the yesterday session i mean in yesterday we have a demo on oracle fusion hcm cloud and as part of our yesterday session we have seen uh introduction to the erp application and then we spoke about what is fusion applications and applications evaluation overview and then when a customer buy this Oracle Fusion HCM cloud applications, how the product will be delivered? Like what are the deployment options available within the HCM cloud applications, like on-premise versus cloud? And within cloud deployment option, what are the types of licenses that Oracle providing in the market, like SaaS, IAS, PaaS, that we have seen team, and then, we spoke about types of companies involved in this product, like who is the vendor or who is the buyer, I mean the client or the customer who buying the product. Then we spoke about what is the role of consulting companies and where we are going to be part of, in which companies I mean we are going to be part of once we learn this course. And then I have explained you fusion environment releases, like in the year, 2011, like when Oracle introduced these applications into the market, what is the release version they came up? And since then, how the application got evolved? Currently, what is the release we are into? And every year, what is the upgradation policy that Oracle will follow? Right, I told you here, quarterly upgradation policy that Oracle will follow every year. How that version numbers will be updated by Oracle, that all we have seen too. And then I explained to you about what are all the modules that we are having in this particular technology, like what comes under the functional side, what comes under the technical side, and where certain uh, prerequisites like SQL is required, and what are the job profiles that we will be having in this particular technology, right team. And then I have concluded the yesterday's demo with all the offerings that what we are going to provide to you as part of this training program. So we left out with a couple of concepts team. I didn't got the time to cover these topics yesterday. Let me complete these things like Oracle knowledge repository and Oracle certification process. Let's talk about first of all today, Oracle knowledge repository. What do you mean by this one team? See, Oracle by default provide the standard documentation for the Oracle Fusion HCM cloud applications team, not only for HCM, across all their products, Oracle provide standard materials readily available for each of their products team. If you take our HCM, with respect to HCM, all the implementation guides, administer guides or user guides, all these will be provided by Oracle team, like where we can access them in the uh, open source, they are open source. I mean, uh, it's not something like Kumar has registered somewhere with Oracle University, so Kumar is getting access to them. No, it's open to every one team. And not only that one, whenever Oracle application is being upgraded, I told you, right, every year uh, Oracle will follow a quarterly upgradation cycle. Like four times they are going to upgrade, upgrade their application. So every quarter to quarter, when the application is being upgraded, what are the new features that are coming in this product? Where I can find, now let's suppose you starting your career in this technology team, you are learning the course, you joined the organization. So every four months or some, uh, every four months, let's say, application releasing their upgrade. So some new enhancements or some new features are coming up in the system. As a consultant who working on this technology, how you will upskill yourself, where you can find or where you can get that information. Will Oracle will mail you that information? No, we are not associated anyway with Oracle. Then how we will get that information team? Even that also you can access in that Oracle knowledge repository team. How you can find, go to any browser, okay? Search with, search with Oracle, Oracle repository search with oracle repository when you search with this word the very first uh, result that will come in the page will be 
fusion apps or dot oracle dot com oracle enterprise repository for oracle fusion applications this is the place where oracle embeds all the documentation that which is going to be provided for all the people go to oracle enterprise repository then you will land upon this screen and here you search across multiple product areas and you have something called search by product cloud applications and on premise applications i want cloud because my hcm is in a cloud based mode go to cloud applications and here you will land upon this tab oracle fusion cloud application suite and here all the products that oracle offering under oracle fusion applications like financials accounting hub procurement project management this is related to supply chain scm and this is our hcm human capital management come to this particular screen scroll down go to human capital management and click on human resources right team now you landed upon oracle human resource 23a this is the latest upgrade of our application team as we are in the month of march 2023 in the first quarter we in the year the current upgrade is 23a that is what i have shown you yesterday right 23a and here once you come to you have something on the left hand side called all books go to all books here okay that will be selected to all books and then here you can filter with you want just basic starter guides or user guides you want implementation guides you want administration guides you want you can filter accordingly so let's say i want implementation guides each module i want end to end how i have to implement that that guides are required then go with implementation filter and see team all the implementation guides of my modules will come this is implementing absence management benefits compensation my core hr or global hr then payroll help desk in within payroll we have localization team country to country that documents here you can find everything you can find let's say i want to go to core hr click on pdf now see you will land upon the document this is implementing global human resource entire detail explanation about each concept that oracle will provide in this document team so oracle documentations will be bit lengthy I, i don't say to rely upon these things but at a time if you want to refer any standard documentation you can find them but other than this we are going to provide you the materials for each of the module if you follow them that will be quite sufficient but on top of that th this is something not at the point of learning team in future when you start working on this technology something you want to refer about something then you can rely upon these documents you can download that they are downloadable also so here you can find your implementation guides similarly user guides if you want like how to use the application end user transactional related guides if you want. for all modules you can download thing and even if you go to videos some short videos about some of the concepts oracle will embed here but it's not really detailed thing basic cosmetic level explanation will be given at high level if you want to access them you can find it out here the main thing what or why i have why i am explaining this is we have something here on the top team cloud readiness and what's new click on this what's new and here you can find every quarterly upgrade when oracle giving what new features it is giving to the application scroll down product wise you can filter now i am on hcm and within hcm i am under human resource now click on human resource under what's new human resource click on html here okay and here you can able to get access to the latest release is 23a even for the next quarter actually our applications not upgraded but oracle will give the future next upgrade what they are going to give in that what features came also you can find so in the document section you select you want what features came in 23b release coming in 23b release what are in current 23a release or 22d past releases 22c 22b even you can check the past quarterly upgrade release notes also thing we will call them as release notes means what are the new features that oracle going to give in the application 
you can find them let's suppose i will go to update 23a i want to check 23a features team come here scroll down so see team filter here like click on plus icon expand this is my core hr module these all are the new features coming in core hr see what is that feature is about in in the area of document of records we have one concept in core hr team like there is some new feature coming called audit access to document records and mass download of document record pages and where in which screen that new feature is coming like every feature i can see here these all are the new features coming in this new enhancement of 23a like in the employment screen there is some new feature coming synchronize action reason like in the front end in the application in which screen that will be impacting everything you can have your uh, release notes here team these all are the new features in the core hr module so you you can get yourself upgraded to the application by following this document stream see did i logged in any any i mean to this application team no see view account nothing i have not logged in i don't have any account with oracle but still i could able to access these things you should know the path that is my uh, point to make you clear how you can navigate in the uh, browser and which links you have to go to find out the release notes so this is very important thing team try to keep it in mind or try to make a habit of this even i follow the same thing every quarter when some new features are coming to upskill myself i will follow this particular document so i will study okay this feature is coming so okay okay something like that we can have all the detailed information about each feature explanation and in which screenshot that new feature is coming what is the impact it is going to be taking in the system everything so this is about oracle's knowledge repository team now i want to talk about oracle certification process some of you were asked was asking me like kumar how the certification concept in oracle will work so if i have to explain oracle certification process team there is no common certificate for entire application our application is what oracle fusion hcm cloud this is our product basically for entire product we don't have certification team no but for what we have under this product we have multiple modules that is what we discussed yesterday correct here we have multiple modules so we have for each of the module certifications available team if you want to apply for a certification exam then for each module certification oracle will offer if you take global hr then you have an uh, certification for this module called oracle global human resource cloud implementation specialist the certification name is implementation specialist oracle global human resource cloud implementation specialist and every certification will have an examination code something like izwo okay 1046 2022 then we have absence management then for this also you have an certification exam like oracle uh, absence management absence management okay cloud implementation specialist implementation specialist then for this we have a code izwo 1056/2022 so slash 22 designates the year which year exam paper that is 2023 in the month of may usually every time oracle will give new examination uh, uh, what to say paper team next will be 23 it will come but this remains same so if anyone want to apply for the certification in this technology then you have to do certification based upon the module wise okay not for the entire application so whatever the modules you feel comfortable and you prepared well you can appear for the certification usually core hr will be easy to clear and many people will go with this one now how that pattern of exam will be how to apply for the certification what is the cost of certification and main thing is is it required to take or not that is main thing first you should know okay 
So basically, Oracle will not directly conduct the exam team. Oracle partnered with a company called VU Pearson. There is a company called VU Pearson. If you search with this name in any browser, you can get that result here. The very first one, see VU Pearson. So this is the examination partner. So here you have to go search your exam and you have to book the slot. Prior to COVID team, prior to COVID team, uh, we don't have online option to appear for the interview. VU Pearson used to have their examination centers available in all tier one and tier two cities. Okay, in all the major cities like Hyderabad, Bangalore, Chennai, Delhi, in all these places, they used to have physical centers. We used to go there, we used to pay the fee, book the slot, and we used to sit there in the examination center, and we used to write the exam. But after COVID, now Oracle conducting the examination in the online. Directly, you can go to VU Pearson site, search with your examination name or code, and pick up the slot of your convenient time, sit in your home, and you can write. The duration will be one and a half hour. 1.5 hours time it will be. Questions will be somewhere between 50 to 75 questions will come. And the pass percentage will be 70%. Negative marking will be there. And the questioning pattern will be choose the correct answers. A question will be there and four options A, B, C, D. Then the question will come A, B, C, D. Choose the correct answers format. The examination pattern will be. So each module, whenever you are going to write, the time of the examination will be one and a half hour. Questions will be somewhere between 50 to 75 questions you will get. Pass percentage will be 70%. And the cost will be somewhere 20 plus 20,000. 20,000 plus there is something, 20,400 or something that Oracle is charging currently, including taxes. Okay, including taxes. So you have to apply the exam in this portal, pay the fee, and you can book the slot and you can write. It is a non-refundable deposit. If you have not cleared the exam, you got less than 70%, then you will be failed. Then you won't get the money back also. So now the main point, Kumar, is it required? Should I appear for certification? Is it mandatory? Companies will ask me when I'm uh, uploading my profile in the Naukri for my job search. Absolutely no. Absolutely no. It's an optional thing. Okay. So don't get worried about this particular concept. Unlike SAP or Workday, we don't have anything. Certification is mandatory in this technology to work in the industry. It's absolutely no. It's an optional. But when it will come into a picture team, once you join the organization, once you are moving from one project to another project, sometimes clients might ask whether the resources working for my project are the certified implementation specialist or not. At that point of time, your company or your manager will ask you, clear one certification client is asking something like that. Or in your company, when some performance appraisals being given, your certifications can be taken into consideration as one of the key RA for the manager to give you the rating at that point of time that too it's not mandatory i'm telling some cases they might take that into consideration not every time but if you want to start a career in this technology no one will ask you about the certification but if you have that in the resume it have a kind of added advantage flower to your resume but again if you ask me even i will be in the recruiting panels i won't consider any person like keeping that certificate he's a Certified consulting. No. Ultimately, we are going to judge his personality or his uh, knowledgeability depending upon the interview we are conducting. So it's not a mandatory or a uh, required thing for anyone to apply the certification and write it. Okay, just for your understanding purpose or the knowledge purpose, I thought of sharing this to everyone. Like what is the process, how it will be. So if you are already working in any existing IT companies team, Every company will give free coupons to write different certification exams. You can check with your managers. You might get a free coupon where you don't need to pay this fee. On behalf of your companies also will pay sometimes. If you want, you can check like that. And if you want to write, you can write. So here, if anyone wants you to write any certification, you can reach out to me. I will help you with the dumps. Dumps means we will be having already the question and answers available. Like let's say core HR you are writing. 
whatever the questions that are going to come in the exam we have already that question and answers available team so we can help you out with the dumps and my, most of our students who appeared for the certifications are clearing their certification with the dumps we are providing that support will be given to you from our side so this is about oracle knowledge repository introdu introducing to you the documents and the certification process in the system now today i want to introduce to you the application team like when a customer buy the license from oracle how the application will be delivered and uh, uh, what what is a basic uh, intro about the application we will see how it looks like the look and feel what are the basic features in the application we will see so as we know right oracle fusion applications are purely on a cloud based model right are purely on a cloud based model when a customer buy the license from oracle team the application will be delivered just in the form of url with user id and password that's all the application will be delivered in this way a url or a web link with user id and password so once we take this application and keep it in any of the browser and when you search you will be able to log in into the application this is the main login screen that you will be coming across sign in oracle applications cloud as it is a cloud based application we no need to install the application anywhere in our laptops or pcs okay you can use it on a cloud model with a good internet connection and with a basic laptop you can able to access the fusion application okay you don't require heavy rams or something in your laptops or pcs a basic laptop with good internet connection is sufficient to able to access into the application team so here this is the main home screen that will come sign in oracle applications cloud and here we have to give our user id and password in order to sign in into the application team before entering into that i want to tell you what exactly we will call i am using the word as url but usually we should not use this word it's a very layman terminology which we will use in our regular day to day life but when you are working as a consultant on this technology in the companies or in the projects when you are working you should not call it as a url or a link team. we have couple of names which we can name it you can call it as you can call it as instance or you can call it as environment or you can call it as uh, instance environment server or you can call it as in in the regular layman terminology url or link okay or you can call it as pod pod stands for platform on demand we have multiple names to name it or to call it team so when you are working in the projects you might be frequently hearing these words referring to the product can you please give me the instance for the uh, so called client or can you please give me the pod for so called clients something like that so when you heard this terminology or words that is nothing but referring to the product this particular product can be called as either instance environment server url link or pod pod stands for platform on demand in a cloud based model customers will buy the license from oracle so the platform is being given on their demand or whatever they purchasing that's why we will call it as platform on demand so any name you can call it team this url or the application of the clients that which you are working on the product can be called in any of these names now when a customer buy the oracle fusion hcm cloud applications from oracle how many products that oracle will deliver to the client product will be one but how many instances or how many pods or environments that a customer will receive because this is very important one should know now let's suppose team our client is reliance industries okay now reliance industries bought this license from oracle okay so when reliance bought this license from oracle how many instances that oracle will deliver to the client 
two instances Oracle will deliver to you. One we will call it as production environment. One we will call it as production environment and other is the test environment. Take it as granted. Any project that you are working on, you will come across these names. Production environment, test environment. Okay. Let me give some shapes to this. Okay, production and test environment. So what do you mean by production or test environment? So how the URLs of production or test looks like Steam? So let's suppose this is the URL. So basically it is our demo instance team for the training purpose we will use. Uh, let's take up any existing environment. Let's say I have another product here. Let me use that here. Okay, we will use something in as a PSTB or something. Okay. So there's suppose team. This is the URL, right? So if it is a production environment team, you won't get this slash test. You will have this numbering like that. So something like this. Let's suppose for a client, this is the production environment team. And how the test environment will look, you know, the same product uh, application here. After these four characters, you have something called test. Okay, test. This URL will looks like this. I'm trying to make you the differences thing. Like when the, we were working in the projects, you might be coming across production environment, test environment. How you will identify which is production and which is test. Let's suppose this is my client environment team. Production environment will looks like this. HTTP dash slash, there is some four characters uh, coming up dot fa if it is a test environment team between fa and uh, the four characters you will have something called a test environment team that is how you have to identify which is production and which is test why two environments a customer will receive when they're buying the license team now reliance bought the license from oracle the application delivered to the client two environments oracle given why two environments are being given team Production environment is the actual environment, the real time application which client will be using in their in house HR operations team. This is the real time environment. All their real time data, their employees, their organizations, their absences, their payroll, everything will be configured in this and they will be using in the company. This is the actual real-time environment where in their day-to-day -day life clients will be using team that we will call it as production environment but when we are going for an implementation we are the consulting companies team let's suppose we are working in deloitte reliance industries given the project to deloitte we are working in deloitte as an implementation consultant and we got the project from reliance so what reliance industries will do will do you know Reliance Industries will give this test environment to the implementation partners, like to us who are working on their project. Test environment is the proxy to this one team. In the test environment, all our implementation work will be done. All configurations during the time of implementation, during the time of implementation will be done in the test environment team. What is the test environment? All configurations during the time of implementation will be done in the test environment. So this client will give, first of all, test environment to the implementation partner, implementation company, to the IT company. And first of all, team, when we working in the projects also, we will do all the configurations in the test environment and we will show to the client. This is what the configurations or this is what the solution that we configured in the system. Once client checked everything, they performed the testings, everything, and they find comfortable, yes, this is what going to be. Then we will migrate all these configurations into the production and we will hand over to the client. So production environment will be used by the client side people for their day-to-day -day HR activities. This is the actual real environment team. But test environment is something in the time of implementation, all the configurations initially first configured in the test environment. 
and the client will check whatever we configured. Once they are comfortable, they will give the sign off. Then they, we will move that configurations to the production environment. On top of these two, okay, clients can also buy additional license from Oracle team. By default, in the licensing fee, production and test, two environments will be coming to any client who buying the license from Oracle. Additionally, client can subscribe to some other proxy environments to production, like test how we have, something we will call it as a dev environment team. Dev environment team. They will not come on free. Only test and production will come when they buy the license. Dev environment looks like this. In the place of test, you will see it as dev, D-E-V. So this, this URL looks like this. Okay. See, these all are client's product only. Single product only. This is the main product of the client. These two are proxies to this one team. So because of several configurational requirements to perform prior to having in the original solution in the production, these will be used. So dev environments when clients will purchase from Oracle on additional cost team, if any new customizations or any new developments they want to do, some new customizations they want to try, some new uh, business configurations or scenarios they want to test out, so they will perform all those things in the dev environment team. So here first they will have the testings or, or the implementation of new customizations or anything they want to do. First they will perform in the dev environment. Once here it is done, they will move it to test. And here test client will do the testings, everything. And here everything is fine. Then we will move to the production, those customizations or new developments, anything that they want to perform. It's an optional, not mandatory. Customer to customer, it depends too. But by default, you should know that when any customer buy the license from Oracle, these are the two environments a customer will receive. Production environment, which is the real actual application with real-time data, what client will use in their day-to-day -day life. Proxy to that one, during the time of implementation, first initially to configure everything and check it out. Then the test environment will be used. But these dev environments are optional. On an additional licensing fee, if the customer want to buy, they want to try some new customization, some new integrations, new developments they, they want to test, they can use the dev environment scheme on top of the regular two things. Yes, Manoj, any question to you, please? Yeah, yeah, hi, Kumar. So my question is, you know, will you cover what is the migration process of configuration and data to dev to prod or UAT to, I mean, test to prod? We will we, we'll be seeing it from the point of uh, data migration tools that one, HDL and HSDL, how we are going to use for migrating the data. That's a okay. thing we are going to cover at later point, not initially. And okay. and configuration as well, right? Along with the yeah. data. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thank so, you. yeah. We, we can have the Q&A at the end of the session too, so that uh, the flow will not get interrupted in between. Right, so these are the types of environments uh, which you will be coming across to. So try to identify when you are working on a project, if your project manager give you the application to you, don't jump in and try to configure something or try to implement something. First check it out, whether it is a production. Production means it looks like this, okay, four characters, dot fa like that. test environment means it looks like this four characters slash test in between dev environment means four characters slash dev and team client to client customer to customer when oracle selling the product how you will identify let's suppose team you got placed into some uh, support uh, role some support projects that your company supporting to the clients in support projects, usually your project manager will ask you to work for multiple projects, two or three projects, your project manager asking to support you. How you will identify which client's product is what? For every client, these four characters, whatever is their team in the URL or in the link will be different. For, for Reliance Industries, if the URL is like this, for some other client, the, the four characters will be different, something like in this way. Okay, ESE, something like that. For other clients, let's say, you are working for third project also, 
for other client there will be change in this uh, url something like eftg like that so client to client team these four characters alphabetic characters what we are seeing in the url that will be changed so you have to focus on those four characters team url to url that will be different and that four characters in the url we will call it as pod number that four characters in the url we will call it as pod number for customer to customer when oracle selling the product the urls the four characters will be different okay so if you are working for one client the client might have some four characters here differently for another client for their product you will notice the four characters differently that we will call it as pod number okay that is about from the point of uh, what do you say instances team okay so let's move on to the application now now let's say i want to introduce to you the application like once we log in into the system like how we have to log in what are the basic features that which we have to navigate across let us see them so once we copy paste our url team okay you will be prompted into the screen sign in oracle applications cloud then you can provide the user id and password who will give the user account and password to our team that all i will tell in the security session tomorrow but let's suppose i am having the user account now i have passed my user account something called hcm underscore impl 15 then password i am giving here team so when you logging into the system you have couple of options it is asking here what something by default coming with english language team if i click on the drop down i have some couple of options coming see different uh, languages are coming team english greek arabic italian what are all these things oracle fusion applications are multi language supported application team okay what is what is that team oracle fusion applications are multi language supported application let's say uh, my client is from let's say finland they are expecting the application to be used in their own finnish language every day when their employees are going to use the hcm portal or the application they want the application to be in their own native language or if my client is from china uh, they are asking that I, I want to use the application in my own chinese language definitely they can able to do while they logging in only they can choose the application language here in which language they want that to be let's say I, i'm changing it to simplified chinese now see now see there is something changed here sign in changed and see forgot password sign in everything changed to chinese let's say if i change it to uh, uh, something uh, finnish or french or finnish we have now see the application language changing to finnish when i log in also the entire application i can see in that native language so what language you want to log in into the application also you can choose here when you are logging into the application even after logging in also you have the provision to change the language of the application that i will show you but here we have and when we logging in if we forgot our password or if we forgot our username you can click on forgot password button and you can pass your email that what is there in the system already click on forgot username and click on submit or, or forgot password if you want to reset your password then click on submit these are basic things like our gmail or facebook how it works forgot email forgot username in the same way in application also team so now i want to log in i have my credentials with me then i am trying to sign in into the application team so once i click on sign in i will be landing upon the application team <coughs> okay what happened right so this is the home screen of the application once you sign in into the system this is the home screen of the application team so good evening and my user with what i logged in team hcm underscore impl 15 is my username that username will come by default here and good evening so this is the main home screen of the application team and here you are able to see uh, different uh, sections coming up like we have sales one section and if we have service there is something service here we have something called me 
we have something called a my team procurement my client group under each of the section when i select under them i could able to see different apps if i go to my client group i can see many options here like hiring journeys new person person management right then if i go to my team i have couple of things here then me i have couple of things here so this entire area what you are seeing team we will call this as a springboard what is this entire area we will call it as we will call it as springboard if you want to know that one select any of the functional i mean any of the option here let's say i selected something called my client groups if i scroll down if i scroll down i have something plus icon is there keep the cursor on that what it is showing personalized springboard so this entire section that what you are seeing on the main home screen different sections under each section couple of options this we will call it as spring board and team whatever the sections that you are seeing team like many things are there if i click on the right side arrow many sections are coming up and if i click on left side this bar will move accordingly team so each section like my me is one section my team is one section procurement is one section my client groups is one section each section we will call it as functional area in the system what we will call team each section we will call it as functional area okay under each functional area let's suppose my client groups is there it is one functional area under that i have several options coming here hiring journeys new person each of these options we will call them as sub functional areas so in the springboard the hierarchy if you see team the sequence if you see there will be functional areas under each of the functional area you will have sub functional areas coming under them and under each of the sub functional area let's suppose i came to my client group functional area then i am going to new person sub functional area here and if i click on new person team I, if i click on new person team my page is loading here i landed upon that new person sub function what i can see search for tasks and i could able to see several tasks here hire an employee pending worker add a contingent worker add a pending worker add a non worker these all are the tasks so the sequence will be in this way team you have on the home screen you have first of all springboard you have something called springboard under springboard you have something called functional areas okay functional areas under functional areas you have sub functional areas then under sub functional areas you have tasks that which you can perform in the system for example my client groups in the springboard is a functional area under that new person is a sub functional area under that i have the tasks like hire an employee huh? or or add a pending worker what are all these things i will talk about later but i am trying to explain you the basic features in the system then add a contingent worker etc so this is how the hierarchy will be there in the system springboard is there in the home screen under that springboard i have functional areas under that i have sub functional areas under that i have tasks what i can perform right team and the same functional areas and the sub functional areas what i am seeing in the springboard i can also find them in the navigator team on the left hand side we have three lines are you able to see that my cursor is on that three lines that is called yeah. navigator once i click on the navigator team a bar will open towards the right from left to right see so i have sales service me my team procurement my client same things sales service me my team whatever i am seeing in the springboard in the horizontal way the same things i can see in the navigator in the vertical way so under my client groups i have these many options correct sub functional areas now see team if i go to navigator 
come to my client groups and expand that one all the sub functional areas you can see here different icons you are seeing whatever you are seeing in the springboard hiring journeys the new person see, new person here journeys here then person management absences time management see, absences time management so whatever that you will see in the springboard you can also find them in the navigator thing it's up to your convenience of using the system either you can pick up here or go to the navigator and you can pick up the same see my client group and i will come to new person the screen same screen i will land upon see same screen see new person either i can perform the same thing either from springboard or or from here my client group new person see it i can perform from here anywhere that i can come to the respective screen so this is about springboard and the navigator in the system team you can even personalize your springboard team how uh, i i don't want to have this hiring and journeys option coming under my client groups i want to hide them be on any of the functional area team okay scroll down we have something called a plus icon available here that is personalized springboard so click on personalized springboard team okay then you will end up on this apps each functional area under them whatever the sub functional areas are there you can see sales then service then me okay then my team then procurement my client everything you can see team so let's say under my client groups i don't want hiring and journeys to show then uncheck these things or new person also i don't want uncheck these three things now go up click on save and close okay save and close now you see team now you see team <clears throat> now you see team uh, if you come to my client group where are those where are those new person hiring journeys they go they gone they got headed out so if you want to put them back go to the personalization again and you can able to update it come down then my client group hiring new person journeys now if you come and say one close you can able to see that functionality is coming over there again it came back hiring journeys new person like that you can able to personalize your springboard also and within the springboard you can able to see something called a quick actions here what are this team so basically whatever the tasks or the transactions that which you can perform within your functional areas you can find them in the quick actions team let's suppose if i go to absences there, there is a functional area called absences team when i come to this i have many things which are coming up here different tasks or the configuration things like absence reason certifications plans types uh, uh, agreements category red definition correctly so rather than coming to the absences and finding out any task that i want to perform i can find them easily in the quick actions team at any point of time if you don't know where that particular task or the transaction you want to perform resides in which functional area simply come to quick actions and you can find somewhere here hire an employee actually within new person i have hire an employee but directly i can access to that task from here termination transfer and if you scroll down if you click on show more whatever the sub functional areas you are seeing under them whatever the tasks is residing you can find everything here team show more see under employment whatever the uh, transactions or the tasks available i can find here or let's say under new person i have add contingent add non worker add pending worker then under compensation what are all i have that i can see then i can see the absences also somewhere time work structures and uh, here absences where it is here see like see absence plan absence type eligibility profile repeating time period categories reason whatever that i find basically under my sub functional area in the quick actions i can have an entire overview about all the functionalities team see i can find okay absence plan here then i can directly go and i can perform that task rather than coming into the sub functional area and then clicking on this 
then finding out the respective task from here. You can also access the setups or the tasks from the quick actions also team. So quick actions, we have some other concepts related to this one called responsive user interface tasks in this all up. But what is classic UI? What is responsive UI? You will come to that particular topic in the next coming session so that I can explain more on this area. So this is about the springboard related functionalities and the navigator theme. And then we have a couple of options coming up here. We have to talk about them also team. So this is, there is something uh, search option is there. This we will call it as global search area. If I click on this one, search bar will open up here. See, till now it is in the uh, hide out mode. Once I click on the magnifier, a search bar will open. So if I want to search with any task that I want to perform, or I want to search for any employee details in the system as a HR admin, I can able to search here team, okay? See, it, it's a demo instance, already some data is ready the available team. Let's say I want to search with any employee with the name with John. See, all the employees details are coming. So it's a kind of global search area we will call team. Anything that I want to perform, even not only the people, even I can search for the tasks I want to perform also, and I can directly go to that particular screen. So this is global search area theme. And we have something here called home icon. Let's say the basic feature theme, even in our mobile also, in whatever the screen we are, by clicking on home button, you will come to the main home screen. In the Fusion application also, same way. Let's suppose, I'm going to my client group and I'm going to some absences and let's say I'm performing some task called absence plan team. Now I want to come back to the home screen. There are no need to go back one by one. Simply click on home. My screen is loading. I will land up on to the home screen. That is home button. And then we have something here called favorites and recent items team. What is this one? See, in our Google Chrome or in Firefox or Edge browser, whatever the browsers we are using team, we have something called the concept of bookmarking the tabs. What is that mean team? Any most frequently used URLs or something important you feel, you can bookmark them, correct? Similarly, within the Fusion application also, if you have to perform the tasks which are most frequently that you will be performing the tasks, that you can bookmark team as a favorites. Let's suppose I'm a HR manager in the organization. Uh, let's suppose every day the HR person is responsible to come to my client group, new person, and he's responsible to hire an employee. He will go to hire an employee. This is his most common task. Every day that person will do that respective task of hiring an employee. Okay. So the person can make that respective task as his favorite item, log into the system, come to the respective task. First of all, this is the task which I want to perform. Come to the star mark, click on this one team. Okay, then go to favorites, go to favorites. And here you click on add to favorites team. And it will ask you to create the folder also. This is the task name by default copied from here, hire an employee, create a folder, something like, my daily routine tasks something i'm writing the folder name like this routine tasks save okay okay now see team this particular hire an employee task i'm saving in this folder thing okay my daily routine task then one more one more after hire an employee every day my my uh, things are something like i also come to the person management screen in order to search any employees data in the system, ideally we will we have to come to the person manager. So this one also, person management screen, come to star, add to favorites, okay, in which folder, my daily routine, search person, this is, see, okay, click on save and close. Now see team, from tomorrow onwards, when I log in into the system, for going to person management, for going to new person and hire an employee, I no need to come to my client group, click on new person, then go to hire an employee. No, directly I can go to now star. Okay, now favorites, this is my folder. I have added everything in my favorites. Now click on my daily routine task. See the two tasks are added here thing. Now if I click on this, directly I will land upon hire an employee screen. See, my screen is loading. Directly entered that respective task. 
that is about adding your most performed tasks or most used screens you can bookmark them you can add them into favorite screen then you can pick up them then recent items is what team even in the browser also you have something called a history like you can check right recently what you have surf i mean you, you have did the surfing or whatever the links that you have gone across recent history you can check similarly in the fusion application also team a user can check the recent history from here go to recent item like see just before i came to new person prior to that i am on hire an employee then i am on search person then prior to that i am on absence plan screen so even with my user login what are the recent screens i have came across that i can see in the recent item team so that is about favorites and recent item stuff then we have something called flag symbol team that is watch list so watch list is nothing to for uh, with related to hcm we no need to talk about that and we have something called bell icon what is this bell icon team yesterday when i am introducing sorry to, to the... sorry to interrupt you mr kumar my name is lakwinder singh please lakwinder please and i have a question if somebody is not uh, seeing this star option in the application then how we can add this star option i mean favorite is option over here okay you are telling that this option is not visible to the employee this how option is not visible them? yes then how we can add this it depends upon the role that what assigned to the user probably the restriction is there we have to check what okay. privileges okay. are missing to him that way we have to find okay okay all right thank you so much yeah. and then team we have something called bell icon here team what is this bell icon is about see yesterday i was telling you about the concept of uh, workflows and approvals we have a concept in the system correct like uh, a concerned managers will receive the notification when their subordinates applying any leave or any transactions that are being made to their subordinates a manager can receive the notification where he will receive team in the system in the bell icon all the approvals that what a manager will be receiving they will receive in this bell icon team. the notifications in the system will be triggered here say approve reject whatever that manager want to perform that he can perform from here team so that is about bell icon but this concept we have to talk separately as we have a sub module in the system called approvals and notifications but that is about notification receiving bell icon team and then if you come here this is settings and action if you click on this you will be having something called settings and action team and here you have sign up now every day after my work i want to sign out from the application then i can click on sign out team sign out then i will log out of the application see my screen is loading and i logged out from the application so i want to sign in back then again i have to give my credentials and i have to enter into the application so from here you can able to sign out from the application team here okay okay and then we have some basic concepts here team like personal everything we no need to discuss today only but some of the things the basic cosmetic level things i will try to cover in next 2 minutes so personalization we have something called accessibility settings if i go here okay uh, in our mobiles also we have an option team if you go to developer options in the settings something have accessibility settings we have like how the application you want whether the accessibility should be default mode screen reader mode okay or color contrast how you want this you can check it out basic functionalities in the system and then if you go to set preferences team here if you go to set preferences here click on this and then if you go to set preferences some time settings currency settings language that all you can do from here in the preferences you have general preferences team if you go to regional here okay you can set up the country date format time format number format currency time zone in which your client is in that all we can set up from the preferences team in the regional area like your client country i mean your client is from united states then you have to set up or if you are from uk then change it to uk what is the date format that they want in the system for all the configurations time format number format currency in which time zone they are into 
that all basic information we can update here in the preferences team and then language if you go to language currently my application is in english i told you right while you logging into the system only you can have the currency selected but after after logging in i want to switch my currency see i have the option here currently it is in american english i want to change it to finnish that's why i'm changing current session display also i have to change it to finish now see team i will click on save and close entire application my screen is loading now now the entire application will change to finish see everything change to finish if i go to home if i go to home even entire application will change into that language so it won't impact all the users in the system it is only to me my account only hcm underscore impl not for all the users team so see my application change it to another language so that you can perform from here so i know the navigation so i'm directly going team okay now i will put it back to american english okay save and close now my application language will come back to english team and accessibility settings you have already seen here team again within set preferences also oracle given this option the same thing and here password team as a user i want to reset my password to my application i can give my current password then new password confirm new password and save and close so from here i can change my password to the application team so these are the things which we have to talk from the point of hcm this proxy is watch list financial cloud service knowledge sales cloud these are not part of hcm team finance crm related topics those are we don't need to talk about them and here here in the settings and action only team we have something called about this application at the bottom if you go to this one if you want to check what is the release of this application team you can find from here go to about this application then you can see the release version of the application team currently we are in 23a that information you can see and then team we have something here called administrate uh, administration and here we have couple of options like setup and maintenance edit pages global page template these all are the coming future topics which we have to discuss team but today i cannot cover everything in a short glimpse of overview of the application these things we can talk later so this is about in and large about the introduction to the application team if i scroll down in the under the springboard we have things to finish like whatever the notifications that a user will receive in the bell icon even they can find them here also in things to finish so as of now nine uh, approvals or notifications are assigned to him so even he can check from here also he can get into the details approve or reject whatever the appropriate action he can check from here also team things to finish and if you scroll down we have something called news and announcement like in the system from the company point of view if an organization want to announce any news to the entire employees something they want to publish some news to the employees or something it's a kind of announcement section team at the back end they have to perform the announcement configuration so that it will show to all the employees in the system who logged in on the main home screen under the section of news and announcement like any uh, covid rules they want to share to their employees or vaccination rules they want to share to their employees or something any news that they want to share to their employees in and large to entire employees team then news and announcement section will be there here so these all are the basic home screen level features in the application so this is about uh, today's uh, agenda that we plan team from tomorrow we are going to start with our security module in the system because any implementation that you go any client's project you go once client given us the environment access and once we start configuring the things the very first concept that one should know will be the concept of security administration means user account creation in security administration we are going to talk about how the user accounts will be created in the system how the access is being provisioned now i logged in with one user called hcm_impl15 when i log in team 
I could able to see several functionalities coming up. Why this access is coming to me? Who given that access to me? And how that concept is working? That we will call it as security administration in the application. So we will talk about the user account management, how to create the user accounts. And when we go for an implementation, how we will create our user accounts to our team members and how the access will provision to us that we will take up in the tomorrow session team. For security, we have to start with our very first module that is core HR in the system. So any questions as such in today's topic team? Yeah, Kumar, one question. Uh, using which module we can set the announcement? Uh...